Tell the viewers to subscribe. Subscribe, viewers. Smash the like button. Brick Shields, smash that like button. <laughs> Leave comments. <laughs> so let me set the, the storyline for the viewers at home. The series at 4 to 3 for the 2020 year, which I think is a pretty epic year. I agree. Minus all the fuckery in the world, it has been a good that, year. That makes it the epic special, I think. So if they win, they're gonna tie the series. I don't want that to happen. Can't have it. This is our year. This is our year. Last we, year was we, our we year. We only win in the bad years. <laughs> <laughs>
Sannippa! The Sannippa! Oh, no wonder he wanted home. The Epic doesn't start till the back nine of the Beau Rivage. Or until you get your cart stuck. <laughs> or until you fall down the hill. What else weird has happened? Three of us hit one house. <laughs> yeah. At this point in our golf abilities, that's uh, a bit unusual, I'll say. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. I can't really believe that happened. I'm not surprised <laughs> that I hit a house, but I'm surprised that myself, Justin, and Alan all hit the same house. And equally impressive, that house was to the left of the fairway. Which <laughs> I own a lot of property to the right of fairways, left, not so much. I think that's about all the strange things. We yeah. No contentious ball. Oh, we had the butthole and taint of boat. Yeah. Much. We forgot about it. The Epic Championship doesn't start until the back nine, but. Alan had a good description of this hazard on hole number, what hole is this? Six of Beau Rivage. This is the butthole of Beau Rivage. Can you reenact uh, Alan's, uh, how he said it? So we were like walking off the green, he just said it nonchalantly. I was like, yeah, that's that's in the hole on the drive. And Alan's just like, that's the butthole of Beau Rivage. <laughs> There's the man. Driving on the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Another classic line. It's going to be a rough lie, but better than being in the butthole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the winner of the Masters weekend. I saw them put them in my car. I forgot to get the jacket. Sir. Sir. Get the white jacket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a tight coat. <laughs> How does it feel to be Masters Champion? <laughs> that was good. Uh, I'm Masters Champion and Pharmacist all over the This is a groundbreaking day. You look good in a pharmacy jacket. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you could be a pharmacist. <laughs> yeah. Do you want drugs? Okay. <laughs> I'd rather have the pharmacy jacket. You gonna trade? <sighs> so next Masters wow. in April? Yes. So the next Masters in April. Of spring Master we can go. WTE 2020 belongs to thee. Ooh. How do you feel? It's a long time coming. Yeah. yeah. It's, good. <laughs> it's, it's a strange, messed up year, so it's fitting that WTE. <laughs> yeah. 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 A global pandemic is what it takes for you guys to be winners. <laughs> That's right. For the year. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're, we're happy. I don't show it on my face, but we are happy. To lose like to you guys. This is just the start of the weekend. Tomorrow's gonna be a great day. Yeah, so. yeah. It's gonna take me about four, four to five hours to get over this. Oh man. But if I'm going to lose, I'm happy to lose to you two. Fine gentlemen, respectable opponents. This is Dan's year. I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he gets the white jacket. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my teammate Alan that. Uh, I think uh I mean you get we're all teams, right? We're we're teammates, you know, we're we're, we're friends and everything. But I think uh I think Dan maybe outplayed you today, Carl. Oh no, he <laughs> oh, he we played really really lot, fucking good lot, today. Uh, T shots, Justin. Uh, I, I was hitting the driver. He yeah, was hitting, I mean, hitting the Dan. I, I I was on point on the approaches, but we would have not have gotten to approach without him. Plus Carl here was wounded with Planter corn. Oh, that's true. That's true. How's that? So, How's that foot, Carl? I don't feel it anymore right yeah. now. Yeah, the, the alcohol has kicked in. Yeah, I didn't have to resort to the whiskey treatment. Yeah. <laughs> we worked well as a team. Like, Trader was on standby. Whenever he messed up, I would hit it good. Whenever yeah. Good. We talked about yeah. that. We never hit two concurrent good shots. Normally one of us would hit a good shot. The yeah. other one was like fucking up left and right. Good. Even on hole number nine, you didn't both hit a OB shot. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should buy that house at home number nine if it ever comes. So it should be like a joint real estate adventure. Yeah, it's, it's, house that house. <laughs> it's funny they put a net up we've and already, the we've net did laid, nothing. We've like, already three claims to it. We just gotta get Carl to tag it. It's nice. That must have been the most houses we've hit in one day. <laughs> I think I hit four on the front because I hit nine. I hit. Um, what is it? Six that has the butthole of Bon Rivage. <laughs> Yeah. I had a house on six, I had a house on seven. 
And did I hit one before then? I don't think so. I hit three. I know I hit three on the front. And still one. And yeah. still one. Yeah. <laughs> because this guy. <laughs> I, I haven't lost this many ba balls in like I'll also say I've three never years. Seen Carl putt this well. Yeah, I had great putts. He was out cuts. of his mind. Mm. Then, yeah, I had I had like one pressure putt today that I missed. I just did terrible. You had that one long you, putt. Yeah, you made the... I even told him that was my one putt round. for the day. <laughs> Carl, Carl's bad. I no, I, I didn't say you had a bad round. I just I said Dan... Very, uh, too many beer holes. I feel like Dan Dan maybe outplayed you a little bit. But it's okay. You guys, that's uh, why you guys... I think you guys are teammates. That, that or maybe Dan's just raised his level of play. So, so if we like take your handicap and Dan's handicap, I think... He outperformed his handicap more than I you. I relaxed a little bit because we had yeah. a lead. And... It's, it's nothing against you, Carl. I mean, like you're the best <laughs> player. We all know that. Yeah, we all bow down to you, but you know, like know when, you when you're when you're the best, is <laughs> we're not gonna beat you. But yeah, I think I was, Dan, compared to what he normally does, I think he I was on fire he outplayed you. Dan outplayed me at draw part three. Uh, Carl, Carl doesn't want to give Dan any credit for for today. <laughs> Won't let Dan get any credit for his play today. I'm saying this is his year. Fantastic yeah. play. Five wood has changed his life. It really, it really has. I got a GIR at 18 that I couldn't even see. I was just like, I'm gonna yeah. aim with this tree and I put it there. Yeah. What about we that? What about I that, Carl? That was one of the best I've ever seen. Another incident like we had at Carolina National with the red ball where you can't see mm -hmm. it, and then it was in the shadow of a tree like 15 feet away. Yeah. But on the part three, it was big. Yeah. Pro shot nine is probably one of my happier shots that I got so more proud of. It didn't really get that close, but that was not a good situation. So there we go, folks at home. GTZ, GTZ suffers another loss. You know, Carl has a broken foot. I think it helped and me. And he's handicapped. Anytime I'm like hurt, it helps the swing. And you know, he fell swings slower. On that par five. And he fell. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about how Fell and tumbled down the hill. <laughs> on the green. <laughs> to the par green. Five. We got stuck. Uh, that was his side effect yeah. from GTD on the ninth hole. <laughs> GTD was serious. Golf transmitted. <laughs> yeah, how about when you got your cart stuck? Oh, we had to man. push you guys I out. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Who, who, who was it. driving that time? Definitely Dad. me. That's why I don't usually drive the cart. I thought we would still be uh, isolated for COVID, so I put myself in the driver position. <laughs> okay. They were pointing in last night. <laughs> yeah. <They're> the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have we have two traditions now: the Duplin, yeah. the Duplin wine, wine, wine okay. jackets, like the, masters. the masters jackets. Yeah, we should have, definitely have both. <laughs> has to be here. It doesn't have to be here. Both is most similar to the map the, to Augusta, the name of the course before. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. What they say about the rolling mm. elevation in the hills. We should do uh, like a, uh, a Masters weekend, like South Myrtle Beach, near like Caledonia and Trouble. I feel yeah. like that would be a jacket. Yeah. Right Maybe in course. April. Yeah, see. Time. see. I really want to get back there. That's fine. Like, okay, I'm folks at home, Caledonia. signing off. Hand it back. It's to good that. to see Dan in the white jacket. Who wants drugs? <laughs> <laughs>it was still good, man. You were all over it all day. That's where, hit, that's like an advanced golfer. I feel like you hit appreciate like the lag, 17 but. putts and I hit one putt. <laughs> that's all I'll say. But you hit a great shot on number four. Oh yeah, not a great shot. Boy, you take that. I don't feel as intimidated by that hole now. It's still a very challenging hole, but.
that five wood makes it easier. Yeah, it's nice to have a club that does 180. I feel like I had a 40 yard gap before I had that club. What do you think? What was your favorite round this year? Oh man, um, favorite round this year. Well, he started his bounce back on Thursday with an eagle at 15 to get to shoot seven. Probably in the first round. like oh. as an epic or my own personal favorite uh, round. Both. Uh, my both. own personal He's favorite round was breaking 90 at Magnolia. That is the most so complete round I have played uh, in my life. And I feel like I could have done better because I walked up on a damn fives and then make it a triple Rory bogey on number wow. seven. Wow, triple and you broke 90? Uh, so, yeah, so, I tripled geez. number seven at Azalea and Thomas broke 90. Complete. Wow. And, and, uh, I think the key was just not thinking about it. I finished par par bogey on Camellia. And, like went back to the car and like tallied my score and I'm like holy shit two, two I actually stop. broke 90 like didn't <laughs> know what I needed going up to 18 was just like trying to play and then when I did the car like did the math yeah, I was like holy shit yeah that, that works uh favorite epic man had a lot of them this year yeah Eight. I'm gonna say just collectively Chira I think collectively yeah I'm gonna say both rounds at the state park course it was cool to play alternate shot because we yeah. never did it and then it was cool to play crap classic scramble there specifically because it was been, well that that was enjoyable i guess i'm biased for that round but i just feel like it had been such a long time since we as a group had played classic, classic scramble. scramble yeah it was the first one this year to, uh, to revisit that yeah do you like morays no <laughs> You know, I love Marais. I don't know. Also, the attention is now getting. Alan's into the Masters. We'll check in with him later. It's a big part book for you, too. Yeah, that's the best thing about this tournament. Yeah. Solid. Oh, he was close! <laughs> <laughs> he needed to miss that. Par par. Unless he goes in the water on 12, I think it's his, man. Good start to the second half. It's up by three. Is that the man so he did not get up and down from the front, so he drops yeah, back to seven under? Yeah. Because he should gain a stroke on 13 the way he hits. Yeah. Unless Sung Jae or Cam makes it yeah, credible. Right. He might get the low round, honestly. He didn't remain at 13 under. Yeah. Four back. He got two more birdies out there, at least. Do you think that is the legitimate low round, or there's an asterisk by it? He doesn't start to the back nine of the Masters. Winston is asleep. The food is on the grill. So he should be. What a mate, what a great partnership. A very powerful partnership. Why, why stop here when we've done all this work? Congratulations, Dustin. Brilliant. You ever gonna cry after an epic one? For sure. Just can't see it. <laughs> Just can't see it. Okay, I'll see. I have to be, I have to be like something crazy. Uh, we'd have to like pull out and like, I'm gonna put you <laughs> Then you would cry. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I, I know if I ever get like a hole in one, uh, I'm just gonna be like some angels and golf course. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. got that thing to now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't see myself crying. Very good. What do you think, Winston? Would you cry if you won the epic? Maybe when we finally take the lead. Yeah, keep that flag stick. Finally take the lead. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best oh, man, to yeah, that'll be, man. Uh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yeah, that's just no, choked up. Would you cry then? <laughs> no, I would just be like really happy. Well, like an extra jacket soon and an extra long arm. <laughs> so happy you would cry? I think we're still like five back. We got a long way to go. Yeah. <laughs> Best of really years though. Year. We've won. We chipped, we chipped away a little bit. We won last year and this year. So we're down like three lifetime? I don't know. We we've won. We won. We were up one last year and up two this year. So we've come back three the past two years. One year we were down like five. Yeah. So we're gonna need like one more year. So like it's all bad. This is good. It's all right. I also think we were robbed at the beginning for tracking. I think we won like one or two epics before we. 
Yeah, yeah. I have to get. You, at least one one. I have to get you to tell that story sometime. I have like a picture. The sandwich story. Yeah. Like there's, there's like a photo of us in the river front. Like, I think pretty stoned, hanging out in a hookah tent. Like, that was the day. <laughs> yeah. Just not a scorecard to support it. That sounds. That sounds like it. <laughs> sounds plausible. <laughs> Second major. I think it's the start of his. He's gonna win a lot, though. I don't know about a lot. I, I think. I mean, he may win like five. Jordan, uh, I feel like he's only got like three more. Three more? Three more. To win five? That's pretty good. Yeah. It's a big thing for the game. Then. What are you thinking he's gonna win? I think he'll win like a random British Open or two PGAs. Yeah? yeah. PGAs. No more Masters. No more Masters. No more, Masters. No more US Opens. Maybe a US Open. But PGAs are what I think he'll win. God damn it. Breaks the tournament scoring. Why are you so persistent?